So last week we did a little demonstration where we showed kind of some ways that the spirit interacts in our lives. And you may have not been here, so I'm going to just recap real quick. Basically, if you have a personal relationship with Jesus, you have the influence of the Holy Spirit in your life. And that we represented with the colored water. So, but, you know, as we talked about last week, sometimes you get a little empty. You run out a little bit of, of that influence. And you have three options when you go to refill. Number one, you could just choose to not refill. You could run on empty. Number two, you could choose to dilute what's left with worldly influence. Or number three, you could choose to replenish by reaching for the Holy Spirit. So here's the cool part about the third option. When you reach for the Holy Spirit, we talked last week about how as you begin to let the Spirit flow in, it becomes deeper, stronger, and more vibrant. But if you're choosing to be influenced by the Spirit, it doesn't stop with you. That influence, it flows out of you and into those around you. It flows into first the people you're closest to maybe, and then from there to coworkers, acquaintances, maybe even people you just meet on the street. The fruits of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gen gentleness, and self-control, they all begin to well up in you, and as they do, other people are going to experience and see that, and they're going to well up in them as well. The best part, though, is that when you choose to be filled with the Holy Spirit, He's going to keep supplying. He's going to keep influencing He's going to keep pouring out. And he's going to keep changing the lives of people around you, through you, over and over. Wait for it. And over again. 